catwalk and start again. Right, got a special guest with me here tonight. Got my glamorous assistant. Say hello to everyone, Charlotte. Hi. <laughs> Say hello to everybody. Um, we're going to do a Joe Wicks-esque fitness video tonight. Um, don't think we'll quite get as many viewers as he had. We've got the matching kit though, haven't we? He didn't have that. But um, Joe got about 800,000 people watching this morning. We did it, didn't we? We did PE for the nation this morning, didn't we, with Joe Wicks? Yeah. Was it fun? Was yeah. it fun? It was great, wasn't it? Um, <coughs> but tonight we're going to do something a bit more squash specific. So we are going to do um, a little warm up, about a seven minute warm up. And then we've got about 20 minutes just under of work and worked it out uh, that a squash rally is about, on average, about 25 to 30 seconds. So we're going to do something, <laughs> stop it. We're going to do something that works 25 seconds. <coughs> In between points, we've got about 10 seconds rest and then we're on to the next exercise. So for example, do lunges for 25 seconds, quick rest, then squats, then press-ups, then so on. I'm getting a massage here to keep going, Charlotte. That was nice to warm Daddy up. Um, you're going to help me a little bit, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so we've got 62 people watching at the moment. Not quite as many as Joe Wicks, but it's a good start, isn't it? He had to start somewhere. So without further ado, we're going to get into the warm-up. Charlotte, you don't need to do the warm-up with us if you don't want, but you can come in when you're ready, when we start the actual thing. So yeah. you're going to watch us on the sofa and be the judge, okay? So we're going to start off with a little glute workout, okay? Ten sec in 10 seconds, we're going to have lots of different exercises, okay? So here goes. We're going to do some clams, which is getting our feet at 90 degrees. And we're just going to come up and down like that. So we've got the counter beeping there. Just activate those glutes. Anyone who does any exercises with me knows that I like to just fire those glutes up first. I feel like if you midsection, probably from anywhere from your kind of quads through to your ribs, really, that midsection, if that is activated, your core, your lower back, your glutes, your hip flexors, then pretty much everything else is good to go because that's the bit that connects everything. Straight into leg raises. Try and keep that leg straight. These exercises are all working different muscles in the glutes. Are you doing it as well, sweetie? Yeah. <laughs> you can get your leg higher than me. I just feel a little burn. This one, you're gonna go there and then touch the toe down on the floor. So into that clamp, floating clamp position here and then touch the toe down to the floor. Then get these glutes fired up. That's good, Charlotte. Light shirt. Nice little click there. Next one is going to be knee up, so get into that same starting position, foot to the floor, foot to the roof, try and keep your knee, try not to flip up and down like that, try to rotate from the hip, nice and slowly, you say hello to everyone, Charlotte's just going to a judge's seat just to check that I'm doing things right, just check I'm doing it right Charlotte, okay, or oh, I'm feeling the burn a little bit now, especially on the left side. This time we're going to do some, some leg circles. Can I do it on the mat? Can you do it on the mat? You can go and get your mat if you want and bring it in. So we're halfway, let's swap directions of the circles. So we will go in anti-clockwise and now we're going clockwise. That's it, sweetie. Put it right down. Mine. There you can put it here. And then that first position that we have the clams, we're now just going to hold that for 30 seconds. Watch out the camera, sweetie, so people can see what I'm doing. That's it. You're going to go down. You're going to start when I go on the other what side. Do we? What are we doing? We're just holding this position. See if you can hold it. That's it. 
So in about five more seconds, we're going to go into some bridging just to flush out the main part of the glute. So we're going to come now on our back, glutes up, and just extend the legs. I can go sideways so you can see what I'm doing. And straight after this 10 more seconds, we're going to go to the right side. So we're going to swap legs. So the left glute should feel on fire now. All right, straight into clams. So change sides on your mat. You can see me there. Straight into clams. And all of these, try to isolate those glute muscles. Careful with the phone, Charlotte. They don't want to knock them. Hi. So we're going to get those glutes working. How if I slide up a little bit, if I slide up. I'll have a look in a minute. If I slide up, then you can get in the shot as well, look. So this time we're going to the straight leg raises. Same order. The next one is get the knee into that kind of hovering position and we're going to touch back with the toe. You're good at this straight leg one, aren't you? We're in your playroom, aren't I? Daddy's taking over your playroom. But I said you could stay up for a little bit if you did these exercises with me. So then knee there and then touch back. Oh, sorry, sweetie. So hover that knee and then touch back. Try not to kind of twist open like that. Try and keep your chest facing forward so you'll rotate that glue. You notice each one of these works slightly different small muscles in those glutes. <laughs> You're kicking me with your glute. <laughs> knee up, knee down rotations. Try and get that rotation from the hip rather than from the lower back. Just go and get myself water. Okay, sweetie. I've got one here. I'm going to go and get a full one. Thank you. Should start to feel the burn a bit. The worst one is coming next, the leg cycles. Leg circles. Got yours too. Thank you, sweetie. I'll keep mine in me. Leg circles, so we're going to go anti clockwise this time, first of all. And halfway, we're going to switch to clockwise. Switch now to clockwise. And then the last exercise after this one is clam holes. Clam holds. She's going to go cooking for a bit now and then come back and help us in a bit. 15 seconds. 10 more seconds. We've got a little pause after these glutes, so five questions in. And then the glute bridges just to flush things out again so anyone could see me here. Just stretch out those glutes, try not to sink, keep those glutes nice and high. Nice, just this is an addition that I used to do these glute exercises probably maybe twice a week when I was playing. Still trying to do it now because it keeps your core in check. But one addition I've made is just to do these glute bridges just to flush things through. Right, so that's the end of that little mini glute circuit. So, just going to set up the next circuit here. Daddy, next you're circuit. already 80, 90 and 82 seconds. Thank you. You look up with mummy for a bit now. So, here we are. So, uh, how many we got watching? Got a few more watching. Daddy, so, you want me to go here? Yes, uh, Samara, we'll put this on you. After. Thanks, Charlotte. Sweetie, sweetie. Just knocked off my uh, phone there. I'm just going to check this. It's still. I need you to make a space for my chair. <laughs> All right, so we're going into the full body of the exercises now. We're going to do um, 
Arm strength, how do you build up arm strength? Asking the wrong person on that one. Have you seen these uh, skinny beasts? They're not, uh, I'm not the person to ask. Leg strength or leg endurance, I'm pretty good at, but uh, arm strength, not the one. Um, kind of doing circuits that um, are oh, nice, nice kit, Ollie, yeah. Hopefully uh, you'll enjoy PDH, you've still got some uh, kit left. Uh, I do that, yeah, just try and do those glutes sessions core sort of twice a week just to keep things fired up even if i'm coaching now and working out so i'm going to go into the main body of the um session now so we're going to do um we just put your feet down don't mind that phone we're going to do 25 seconds of work 10 seconds rest and we're going to repeat that 30 times so it's quite tough it's 17 minutes love you too 17 minutes, 40 seconds um, of work. And I'm just going to move around exercises that you should all be familiar with. Really simple stuff. Lunges, squats, press-ups, tricep dips, so on and so forth. So 25 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So we can go at it at a decent pace. Might start quite feeling quite easy for the first sort of five minutes or so. Because it's only 25 minute, uh, seconds of work. But then it will add up quite quickly and after the sort of 10 minute mark should start to feel a little bit of fatigue so without further ado right we're going to get into the um the work now are you going to take that out you don't need that on this one because you're going to do it with me on my mat okay oh you can put that here next to you, so if you can decide to join in but on the first one why are you facing me on the first one i need you as my assistant don't can i because i'm going to do i'm going to have you as on my shoulders, aren't I on the first one, remember? So you're going to sit on the sofa, okay? So we're going to start off with some squats, okay? So remember, 25 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we're going to just keep churning through that. So little 10-second countdown now before we get going. Okay, right, Charlotte, here we go. So that is shoulders. So I'm going to do this squats one with, here we go, with some weights. Ready? Go. <laughs> You'll hear the countdown. I'll go three, two, one, and that's when you're there. So I thought you have Charlotte's about 25 kilos, so All right, that's the rest. I'll do one more set with you, shall I? And then you can go help mommy cook. So one more set of squats if you've not got. 25 kilo weight like this. You can do it with just body weight. I'm getting a sweat on shot, it's hot weather. I like it. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ooh. Wow. That was tough, go help with me. Thank you, high five. <coughs> Thank you, sweetie. All right, into lunges. That's pretty much how it's gonna go. I'll shout out the exercise ahead of time so you can get prepared. Like I said, you'll hear the countdown. Three beeps, so don't stop on the first beat. You can maybe get one or two more reps in. In those three seconds, it'll count down three, two, one, like that, two, one. And then it's the longer beat for the rest, okay? Let's do one more set of lunges. Back in. Don't get that knee all the way down or a nice long lunge. Don't do those little narrow lunges. Okay, next one we're going to do some jumping jacks or star jumps. light sessions like this because time goes quite quick you know you work hard for 25 seconds and then you get to rest and then repeat and before you know it you've done 20 minutes you've done half an hour so on and really specific for the 
requiring some squash. Uh, let's do some high knees now. Brad, is that how you tune in again tonight, son? You know I'm in the kitchen. We can hear you, Charlotte. And they can hear you in the US as well. Tough on that one. Let's get down, let's do some upper body. So let's do some press ups. Press ups next. Okay, mountain climbers, so you can stay in this position. Try and get those knees up to your chin. Don't let your bum come up too high. Keep that bum nice and low. And from here, the next one, we'll do burpees. See so we're in this position. Stay down, let's do some burpees. We took this in. Burpees. So after this one, we've done 10 reps, we're a third of the way there. We're gonna go kangaroo jumps. Did this one already today with Joe Weeks this morning. Get tough. Let's go some ankle hops over an imaginary line. If you can mix the angle forward and back, side to side. Start to feel that burn now. Opposite side, this next one, opposite ankle. This is my weaker ankle, even though it's meant to be my dominant foot, old injury on this one, so it take me just a minute to get up to speed, a good diesel engine. Keep going over that imaginary line. Next one we're going to go high knee, reverse lunge. How it keeps up in legs. Okay, we're going to go frog jumps, touch down, jump up in the squat position. Whoa. 
tough one. From that one, we're gonna go into lunge hold, right leg. Down. This one's gonna be a long 25 seconds, I can feel it already. Try and keep those right angles, so back knee, right angle, front knee, right angle. Back knee down to the floor without touching. 10 seconds, tough on this, stretch out. Imagine you're gonna hit that volley. Put a log, forehand, even open stance. You know what's coming here, top legs. Take a drink on board when you get a chance and there's 10 seconds rest. Sort legs, get that posture going, 90, 90. I should have straightened myself up, I was too twisted there, wasn't I? It's good to do it. Camera, get your shoulders straight on. Let your hold that so you don't want to come too far forward. Chest up. Good old fashioned squats in this next one. Are you sure that bump's pretty low? We've just gone past the halfway point. Try and get that good depth. And get down and do some core after this next one. Okay, one more on the legs. Gonna do some split squat jumps. So lunge, high, split. Long 25 seconds for this one. Start doing this twice, once, twice a week with Nick Wall. Yeah. Nick Wall Jr. on his, before the virus knocks us out. Dish hold. Yeah, before we got shut down, the virus, clubs closed. Now, obviously, we're doing these shot in the ghost with him. So 25 seconds, about eight shots. Tough, fast movement, and then rest 10 seconds, keep going, and going up to about 50 sets. After a session, so it's to finish off, so that's tough. I'm going to do some electrons now. I'll go diagonal so you can see what I'm doing. So, hands to knees, and then both of them stretch out. We're going to go for the plank. Not much rest, that 10 seconds seems to go quicker than, well, obviously than the 25, but it seems like it just goes like a flash, the 25 takes forever. Apologies, you've got a commentary from Charlotte. She's cooking down the other room. She's very loud, bless her. Didn't she model the shirt well though? All right, now we're on, we've done 43 of 61 intervals. That's including the rest. Side plank. So I've got a little bit across so you can see the form. Try and get a nice clearing under here. You don't want to sag down. And then look at the arm that's not the full. Look at the thumb. Try and keep a line, alignment. Back to the middle, normal plank again.
Try and activate those shoulders, don't sag. Put one on the core that even if you can't do it for as long, make sure the form is good. I think I know that applies to all the exercises, but particularly the core, you don't want the wrong muscles to be doing all the work. And you know it's coming, side plank opposite side. Get a nice clearing underneath your rib cage. Drive up, look at your non activation hand, hand that's not on the floor. How's everyone doing? Good? Thumbs up, everyone. It's fun. I mean, I really thank you guys for keeping me motivated. If it was just me doing these on my own, I probably would make excuses not to do them. So I know that I booked it out to say I'm doing it online. It makes me do it. <laughs> Keeps me disciplined, so thanks everyone. Uh, what should we go next? We go lunges again. This time drop lunge, so split position on a T. You know this one if you've followed me before. Drop lunge, 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 drop lunge. Lunge. We're going to go the lunge changeovers, nice and low. Now driving back and forward from the lunge position, swapping legs. Three minutes to go. Press-ups. 25 seconds felt like a long time on the press-up last time. Not my strongest exercise. So, well, if you've got a corner or something to use, you can do some tricep dips. Says me that one. How long left? Nearly just over a minute left. Let's go some split squat jumps. Jump. So I'm going to try and jump from the side of this blue mat to the side of the green one over an imaginary little rock here. the end of the timer apparently so let's just do three more okay ankle hops over the line forward and back try to do some diagonals even forward and back side to side Forward and back. I'm going to keep driving. And 
and rest. Other leg, one more exercise after that one. So this is the penultimate one. Okay, crossover. Forward and back. Crossover, diagonal. Side to side crossovers. Crossover again, forward and back, and rest. So we're gonna do lunge, sorry, squat hold. And within the 25 seconds, I'm gonna say jump three times. Okay, well, Mike, you went ready. So down into a nice slow squat hold. Siri's getting involved now. It's all going off. Got Charlotte commentating, Siri commentating. Okay, jump. <coughs> Back down. Let's make it five. Jump. That's two. Three more. Oh, I had you there. I had you. Jump. Jump. Do one more, one more, one more jump. Try to touch the ceiling with your head. Ready? Oh yeah, hold, do side to side, like you're passing the medicine ball, jump, and rest. I don't know everyone, that was awesome. Whew. I'm knackered too, mate. That was fun. Um, as I was saying just now, do appreciate the uh, support and you guys tuning into this because I genuinely probably wouldn't be doing it on my own, I'd have made some sort of excuse. I'd be already sat having dinner by now. Um, but it's, you know, it's keeping me healthy of mind as much as anything. I'm not worried sometimes about the physical side. You always find time to do some exercises, but I'm glad you guys have given me a focus mentally to do something. Um, so that one, it'll be on my live feed for a little while and I'll make sure I put it on my YouTube channel, Nick Matthew Squash. Subscribe to me on YouTube, it's free. Um, all the videos will be on there. And yeah, that's a really good one. When the courts do open again, that's a brilliant um, drill for if you're a coach or working as, with a partner. 25 seconds, or, you know, you could just do eight shots. If you've not got a stopwatch, eight shots, count to 10 as the rest and just keep repeating. You know, mix up the feeds, mix up the ghosts, make it up, you know, lots of random movements. So you don't just get accustomed to the same movements. It's great exercise that for explosive shot and a ghost. Shot and a ghost can get a bit ploddy if you just go ghost, hit, ghost, hit. But for eight shots, it's like more like ghost, hit, ghost, hit, ghost, hit, ghost, hit. And then quick rest, go again. It's really uh, specific to the needs of our brilliant sport and can't wait to get back on that court and see you all out there again soon. Keep the comments coming. Cheers, everyone. I'm going to go and eat. Uh, what's for tea tonight? Sunflower mince chilli. Sunflower mince chilli. Sounds like there's a good bit of protein in there to help recover from this session. Thanks, everyone. Uh, lots of love. Stay healthy. Stay at home. Work out from home at the moment, guys. Stay sensible and uh, lots of love out there to um, everyone. Say bye, Charlotte. Bye. <laughs> bye. Five hundred and seventy-two viewers. Pretty good. A lot more than the first time you did. I'm doing that. I'm just going to do that. Right, Fox, time for bedtime. It's way past your bedtime. You've got.